Honour Mackey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing and asks, does he believe all New Zealanders should have access to appropriate and affordable housing? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Uh, yes, and the overwhelming majority of New Zealanders are able to source and sustain their own housing arrangements. For those who need additional support, we're committed to helping them. In Budget 2011, it contained $1.85 billion for 350,000 households who are provided with the income-related rent subsidy in state houses or the accommodation supplement in private rentals or with mortgages. This is an in increase of $444 million, or 32 per cent above the Labor government's 2008 budget. Secretary to the Minister, is he confident that there is enough appropriate and affordable accommodation available for the 5,000 people who have been told they are no longer eligible for a Housing New Zealand home and the many thousands more that will have their tenancies terminated if National wins the election? No. The uh, Honourable Phil Heatley. All people who are on the waiting list A through to D on the 1st of July are still eligible for a state house. We gave them that certainty. It's those coming on to uh, the housing needs register from 1st of July who are CND applicants who won't be eligible for a state house. I think the member should get her facts right before promoting such scaremongering. Why is he taking a one-size-fits-all punitive approach that will achieve nothing other than causing major uncertainty for every family in state housing, instead of letting Housing New Zealand continue to work with tenants on a case-by-case -case basis and move people on where appropriate, given that the actual problem is a lack of affordable housing options, not fictitious millionaire Housing New Zealand tenants? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, the problem is that historically no government has moved anyone on from state houses. That's why you have one person living in a four-bedroom house, you have three, uh, five or six people in the family living in a garage, particularly in the previous Labor government, why you have some people in state houses earning eighty, ninety, or or $100,000 while others struggle on the waiting list. We are going to address that problem. We will be housing people most in need. Moana Mackey. When will his government reveal any kind of plan to deal with the actual reasons that families cannot access appropriate and affordable housing, which is a stagnant economy, rising unemployment, massive cost of living increases and a desperate, ever-worsening shortage of housing supply, which has driven up rents in the private sector, instead of scapegoating poor and struggling families and blaming them for the fact that they cannot find somewhere to live? The Hon. Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I have publicly and clearly laid out Nationals' plan in housing. I have not heard a thing from the Labour Party. Where is their plan? Question. Order. 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 Question number 11, Jonathan Young.